Hello, welcome back to Bento Sushi Lettering. In this episode, I will be sharing a quick note setup that I created earlier. Um, so basically to create something like this. So what is this exactly? It's not a uh, stretch of this is actually just using vanilla blender with geometry nodes. So I'm exploring uh, kind of like a random abstract shapes that I can generate using just the default cube. And this is actually one of them. Uh, currently it's running slightly slow but uh, it's not too bad so yeah like I said this is basically a default cube and then I subdivide it actually I didn't subdivide it in this case I could subdivide it one time so I subdivide it one time and then I displace it using noise and it's just like a, the, the, the normal drill but somewhere in between the subdivision and displacement, I have these geometry nodes. And these geometry nodes is basically distributing random points on the cube surface. And then, actually maybe I have too many random objects, maybe I can reduce it even further. Okay. So I randomize a bunch of points on the, on the displayed cube and then I further randomize here I randomize the points and then I also have uh, randomized scale but all this is responsible for the point instance of a torus object so I have something I have a torus object that's currently hidden and I also have uh, Point scale. I believe I can. I can scale the points. Okay. Maybe this needs to be behind. Before point instance. So let me. Oops, it's super slow at the moment. Okay. Yeah. I can scale the donuts basically if I really want okay let's make this a little bit faster so I have this control uh, this empty that's controlling the the noise displacement of the cube and basically it's generating all this kind of random pseudo like a meta shapes based on the scattered donuts so I think the the process that's a bit slow is the the mirroring and the remesh. If I save this very quickly and okay, the mirror is actually pretty fast. So this is actually what's going on underneath. So I could randomize the seed. I can randomize the scale of the donut instance. And uh, with the scale here, I can further adjust the shape of the donuts. It doesn't need to be the donuts. It could be like Suzanne head as well. So, and with the donut shape, currently it's like proportional, but you can also use the vector and we have this. So it's randomized in X, Y, Z, which is pretty, can be pretty interesting. You can keep it simple as a float. So in one sentence, I can just say, this is just like randomly scattered donut. However, with geometry nodes, etc. Now with uh, the latest version of 2.93, you can just add remesh or mirror modifier just after the fact um, and I think this is really powerful if you are really like like me like to explore shapes to whatever uh, you're doing and you can with remesh you can actually smooth shading you can in fact add another displacement after this if you want to to add more details to the shapes you might end up with something that's interesting 
So I'm using the donut. So in this case, it's like imagine like uh, you have like a bunch of donut dough and you just put it together, you know, like to create a really weird random shapes. And you might come up with something, and you and it could be like a start for your character sculpt or like a monster or demons. Yeah, the, the donut shape is of course very interesting because it has like a like a hole. And what's really powerful is with this method you can also you can instance a bunch of different collections of objects, right? It's not just like a single donut. So in this version of Blender 2.93, I I cannot install Spreadshop nodes yet. But maybe in the near future. But however, so like I said, not necessarily we need to use this donut. We can use a, a box or Suzanne or something simpler, or like or like something like the cylinder. This also can be interesting because it's like a pipe. And yeah, you're gonna end up with different design. Cylinder might be. A little bit faster to work with. It's not actually not supposed to be this slow. That's because I'm probably recording. Yeah, if I'm rotating the, the empty, it's starting to generate all these kind of abstract shapes. It's pretty interesting. This going to vector. You see? That's really cool. Yeah, so give this a try yourself. Uh, like I said, this is just using vanilla blender. And I started with just a basic default queue that has been subdivided. And then I have, of course, displacement noise which is just the basic I could change this to Voronoi well look we have something completely different altogether this point scale can actually scale the the height of the cylinder like that alright so yeah give this a try yourself um, hopefully this is interesting um, currently I'm when Point distribute is actually working on just the surface of the cube, right? You per perhaps you can somewhat find a way to scatter points as a volume inside the cube. This is just the outer part, but this is fast and it's quite nice already. Yeah, see what you can come out with this method. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.